Hello friends. It may seem strange, but the choice of a toilet bowl is a fairly important task for the homeowner. What to hide, because without this plumbing fixture you cannot do well at all. Therefore, when planning the repair of their living quarters, many are faced with the question of which toilet is better to install in their apartment. Everyone wants the ultimate in convenience and a reliable system. And of course, who doesn't want to keep up with the times and use all the most modern and fashionable? This is where the homeowner is faced with a choice. Conventionally, toilet bowl can be divided into two types, which differ in appearance and method of attachment. The first type, classic, is a well-known version of a toilet bowl with a cistern. Such a toilet bowl has a so-called leg, which it actually rests on the floor with. There are holes at the bottom of the toilet bowl leg to attach it to the floor. Floor standing ones also include the so-called attached toilet bowl. They differ from the classic ones in that they do not have a cistern. For them a cistern must be purchased and installed separately. The cistern is attached using a special installation hidden behind a false wall. The second type is a wall-hung toilet bowl, which also requires a special installation. The installation is a special metal frame on which the toilet bowl cistern is located. The installation is located behind a false wall, and the toilet bowl, in turn, is attached through a thin partition to this installation. Many people mistakenly consider the installation system of hanging toilet bowls to be not very reliable. They say, the toilet bowl is on the wall, it can come off at any time, and so on. In fact, with a properly mounted installation, the toilet bowl suspended on it holds firmly and can withstand a very decent weight, which is three to five times the weight of a normal person. So there should be no fears here, and the ubiquitous hanging toilet bowls located in the toilets of shopping centers prove their reliability not in words but in deeds, since a thing that has survived in a public place speaks volumes. Now let's look at the pros and cons of both options, starting, of course, with the classic type, fixed to the floor. The biggest and undeniable plus of this option is the ease of installation of these toilet bowl models. To install a floor standing toilet bowl, you need to do only three things, assemble and fix the cistern on the toilet itself, fix the toilet to the floor using dowels and steel bolts, connect the toilet outlet to the sewer, and the cold water supply to the toilet cistern. The second and also indisputable plus of such a toilet bowl is the ease of maintenance and easy access to the toilet bowl flush fittings. It is quite simple to adjust or replace the drain and filling fittings with a new one. In this version it is quite simple. You just need to remove the top cover of the drain tank and you get full access to it. In a word, it is convenient to maintain and you can see everything. It is also worth noting that in a situation with the replacement of water pipes located behind the toilet bowl, or for other purposes, the floor standing toilet is quite simply dismantled and then reinstalled again. Another plus of such a toilet bowl, a relatively low price, there are many budget models for every taste and color. Now let's talk about the cons. Probably one of the biggest drawbacks of a floor standing toilet bowl is that in the conditions of compact areas of toilet rooms, such a toilet bowl undeniably takes up more space, since its working depth also includes a flush cistern fixed in the back, over which a toilet often hangs locker. A toilet bowl with a cistern attached to it does not normally hide the rear and side spaces, the space where hot and cold water lines with a sewer riser are usually located. Now about fixing the toilet bowl to the floor, a very common phenomenon, especially in old apartments, is loosening of the fasteners and pulling them out of the floor. Sometimes such cases are associated with a rotted mortgage board located under the toilet, of course. This can be corrected, the floor can be repaired, and the dowels can be fixed into concrete, and not into the board. Another not unimportant factor that should be taken into account when choosing a toilet bowl is the convenience of cleaning the room where it is located. It is very inconvenient to wash the floor around the toilet bowl fixed to the floor, and it is very difficult to clean the dirt caught in the holes for fixing the toilet bowl to the floor. Also, over time, the silicone seam between the toilet bowl leg and the floor becomes dirty, and in a situation with loosening, the seam ceases to be airtight and bacteria begin to accumulate under the toilet, spreading an unpleasant odor. Another, one might say small, but a minus, is the so-called fogging, inherent in a flush cistern made of earthenware or porcelain. With frequent drains, while collecting cold water, on the walls of the drain tank, Condensation forms in the form of water drops, then, the condensate partially flows down to the floor, and partially evaporates. 
In any case, the wet surface of the tank is a magnet for dust and dirt, due to which the surface attracts dust that is deposited and dries on the walls, which is definitely not a decoration and adds unnecessary cleaning hassle. Now let's look at a wall-hung toilet bowl. Let's start with the pros. A suspended toilet bowl allows you to more efficiently use the space of the toilet room. Since the toilet bowl is attached to the installation through a false wall, it is possible to hide water and sewer pipes behind a false wall. Another plus, no cisterns in sight, only a toilet bowl hanging on the wall and a flush button located above the toilet bowl. Definitely, this option, with free floor space under the toilet bowl and a straight wall without a protruding cistern, makes it easier to clean the floor and wall space around the toilet bowl. Another plus is less noise during operation and no condensation on the drain tank. Hidden cisterns are made of plastic and have additional heat and sound insulation made of foam, due to which, when cold water is drawn into the tank, the contact of the cold walls of the tank with the warm air of the room is significantly reduced. Now about the cons of the wall-hung toilet bowl system. The first, and probably the biggest disadvantage, is the cost of the entire structure. Indeed, in addition to buying the wall-hung toilet bowl itself, it is also necessary to purchase an installation, which includes a cistern, a flush button and a steel frame with fasteners on which the toilet will be mounted. With this option, you need to buy a separate frame and a toilet bowl. The cost of a frame with a cistern costs about the same price as the simplest hanging toilet bowl, and this, of course, is much more expensive than a floor toilet bowl. Another important minus, the complexity of the installation of the structure, not everyone can independently install the frame with the toilet, which means additional costs for the installation of the toilet and the frame. Access to the cistern fittings is much more difficult compared to a conventional floor standing toilet, whether this can be called a minus is difficult to say, but if you need to replace or other manipulations with the fittings, you have to work through the narrow window of the flush button. Of course, you do not need to be afraid, removing the drain and filler valve, while understanding their design, is, in principle, not difficult. In the case of a false wall installed that covers all water supply lines, if a riser or sewer pipe leaks, it may be necessary to dismantle the toilet bowl and false wall. Therefore, it is better to provide a removable false wall. Having examined the pros and cons of both options, a floor standing and a wall-hung toilet bowl, you can come to a number of conclusions. Of course, I will not talk about the aesthetic aspects, since they are definitely different for everyone, but the main practical ones, I will voice them again. A floor standing toilet bowl is cheaper, but more troublesome when cleaning. In the case of small dimensions of the bathroom, with a floor standing toilet installed, difficulties arise with masking the communications located next to and behind it. A suspended toilet bowl makes it easier to clean under it and around it, but it costs more than its competitor due to the complexity of installation and the need to buy a separate frame. Also, it is necessary to take into account the state of the pipes running behind the installation, since they will be closed and access to them will be limited, and therefore, if it is necessary to repair communications, removing the toilet bowl and a false panel may require time and additional financial costs. On this let me finish, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and put it like it who really turned out to be this information useful, good luck to everyone and see you soon.